age of castles. Castles were an important part of the feudal system. They were built to protect lords and their land from enemy attackers. Nobody knows exactly when the first castle was built, but the busiest time for castle building in Europe began about 1050 and lasted until the end of the Middle Ages. So many castles were built during this period that historians sometimes called it the Age of Castles. By the end of the Age of Castles, there were over 12 thousand castles in Europe. During the Middle Ages, the most popular stories about knights were tales of King Arthur and his kingdom of Camelot. They were make-believe stories, but they ha may have been based on a real king who lived in Britain in the 6th century. One of the most famous stories about King Arthur is that of the sword and the stone. In the story, the people of Britain find a stone with a sword thrust into it. Writing on the stone says, Whoever can pull the sword from the stone is the true king of Britain. A young page named Arthur is the only one who can pull the sword out of the stone. The person who put the sword in the stone was Merlin, a magician. After Arthur is crowned king, Merlin becomes his most trusted advisor. Merlin helps Arthur start the Knights of the Round Table. Arthur's knights gather at a table that is round so that each knight's place was the same worth. A new knight was often given a suit of armor. Armor is metal covered that protects a knight from his enemy's weapon. The earliest armor was made of small metal rings all linked together. The linked ring were called mail. Mail was first popular in the 11th century. A knight carried many weapons into battle. His most important weapon was his sword. Early sword were flat and wide. They had two sharp edges. They were called slashing swords. Armor did a good job of protecting knights from the sharp edges of slashing swords. So swords makers started making swords that were longer and more pointed. Knights had plenty of other weapons too. A flail was an iron ball and chain attached to a handle. The ball was covered with sharp spikes. A mace was a big club with a heavy steel head. A, a blow from a flail or a mace could crash a knight's helmet and the knight's head inside. Along with their weapons, early knights also carried very long shields. The shields helped protect them against the weapons of their enemies. As armors got better, the shields got smaller. By the late 1400s, most knights didn't carry shields into battle at all. Helmets hid knights' faces, so knights wore big badges to tell each other apart. On the battlefield, the badges were called coat of arms.